Out of Sudan this morning, the army has withdrawn from ceasefire talks and there is now an increased risk of escalating clashes in a conflict that's now into its second month. CBC News has a team on the ground in South Sudan reporting on the situation as tens of thousands of people flee to South Sudan to escape that deadly conflict in neighboring Sudan. Getting to safety is risky and difficult. A dangerous journey by road, then an arduous voyage by river. Chris Brown takes us there. Well, this is truly a heartbreaking, depressing, chaotic scene. What you're looking at are hundreds of people, roughly 400 people crammed into this boat on the White Nile River. Right now we're in South Sudan. The border with Sudan is very close to here. And all of these people have fled the fighting and the violence that has been going on in Sudan since uh, April the 15th. Uh, they're mostly South Sudanese. Uh, they have escaped and this is an important part of their journey. There's no road south of here, so this is the only way, uh, the only path to freedom for them. But it's a pretty awful one. You can see how tightly jammed in they all are. There's no way to stand up. There's no bathroom facilities. They have to bring all of their own food and they're going to be on this boat for two days. That's how long it's going to take them to get to their stop uh, up the Nile River. Uh, they will stop occasionally on the way to build fires and cook food and so forth, but as I say, it's, it's pretty awful. And this is just a tiny sliver of the uh, displacement that the fighting, the violence in Sudan has caused. And it's spilled over into all the countries around Sudan, but really South Sudan has suffered the most. This is a country that is one of the poorest in the world. It doesn't have the resources to support any of these people who have come back. Uh, so there's a, a huge fear about the destabilization that that war is causing and will continue to cause, not just here in South Sudan, but in all of the countries that surround Sudan. Chris Brown, CBC News, in rank South Sudan.